All right. Time to continue missing, like, secrets. I like that the, um... <laughs> I do like that the, the fucking title screen turns into the, like, town. It's cool. It's a nice touch. Say, what do you think the Beast Pack wants the Waddle Dees for anyway? I just gotten to know all of them when the pack arrived and started capturing everyone. We're far from the Beast's territory, so we thought building a town here would keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. It's Erio. People are saying press down on the D-pad to taunt. Not in the camp. Hang on, I'm just moving some stuff around everybody. One second, one second, all right. I think we're good. Try up. Oh, now that up works. Oh, that's weird. Oh, can you do it? Huh, it wasn't working a second ago. That's strange. All right. Well, anyway, world map. Back to Everbay Coast. You said something about replaying the last level since you missed everything. I missed maybe a couple things. Yeah, I missed stuff. I don't know if I'm going to replay the level. That wouldn't... Maybe... Might... Oh. See, I'm too busy trying to explain what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm missing... I'm messing up the game and me explaining what I'm doing. Okay. Maybe that's something I would replay on my own. We'll see. I mean, there's always a chance I'd go back and collect a couple things at the end of the game. But for now, let us see new things, and then maybe, like, before I finish the game entirely, I'll go back and check out a couple levels where I missed stuff. Is the volume okay, by the way? Just missed a quake surge. <laughs> Must not like air. I'm very happy that the target time doesn't give you something unique because then I would go for it. Also, I found out like almost all of the passwords either just give you money or give you money and like one other thing, meaning one of those stars. So I don't know how many of the password things I actually want to do. But I am in the mood for a new level now. What is the closest non-curb game you can compare this to? Mario 3D World is my first comparison. Even a little bit of a hat in time. 
not because of the game structure, but just the charm of the, the visuals, I think. I wouldn't mind a Donkey Kong game set up like this. Like if they wanted to try Donkey Kong in 3D again. Like this is kind of the way forward for a number of games that were um, 2D platformers. You could just do this style. And one of the things that works so great about this game is the camera is like very specifically made to follow the action. You have limited control. I mean, you could do that, or you can go the full, like, Mario Odyssey route, where it's just you control everything. Crash Bandicoot Games pioneered this. They did, but they didn't really... They were more linear than this, I feel from my memories of the early Crash games. This is also linear. Yeah, but some areas feel a little bit more open than my memories of what Crash was about. I don't know, I say my memories about what, because uh, I don't know, I'm not a, the biggest Crash fan. In fact, I don't very much love that series. It's, it's fine. I played the remakes and I was just getting frustrated. They're enjoyable, but I just got too fucking frustrated. I don't know, maybe I'm Beppy. I wanted to like it. I love uh, Crash Team Racing. It's one of the best kart racing games ever made. But, um, I feel like what I remember from Crash was like there's more wide open spaces in this from what I remember in Crash though I'm sure people would have different you know things to tell me and then maybe they played the games and they have their own wide open spaces so yeah I guess Crash Bandicoot would in fact be a good comparison as a non-curb game it's a little hat in time visually Mario 3D World and maybe a little bit of Crash for good measure because the remakes are harder due to hitbox changes. That very well could be it. Also, you see that milk? That milk crate? That milk crate is a playable character in this boomerang game. Which is also the milk, the same milk crate, the very same from the meme that dances, and the very same milk crate. And why am I calling it a milk crate? Milk carton, wow. Milk carton from the, bl the blur video and the meme. Coffee and TV is the name of the Blur song. There's a little milk, milk carton lad that, it, that runs away from home. Oh, we played, um, another thing we did today was we played more Snake Oil Salesman game. The actual physical game on the physical cards. I sold a priest ball juice. Actually, he didn't choose mine, so never mind. I think he chose the heaven tissue. Yeah, it was fun. I, I want to, like, find more games like Snake Oil. Just, like, really easy to pick up, really easy to learn, really easy to play, and just people being complete fucking idiots. It's very interesting that I just got that upgrade. Try Game of Things. 
Um, well, if you have any good ones that are in tabletop sim or otherwise, please send me send me an email. Contact form only, please. But I'd be I'd be interested in maybe checking them out. Jackbox had probably a number of games like that too. Yeah, I love the bomb floaty. That's <laughs> the nicest thing that they ever the developers could give to that poor bomb that would just like run out. Or uh, rather, the, the fuse would get wet and it would go out. Ring mouth. All oh, right, yeah, this again. Has any streamer already done the Omega Curb emote? No, but I am open to the Omega Curb emote. It probably, you could probably get a better image of it than this, but if anyone wants to, you know, give it a shot. <laughs> There's one in chat. Oh, there is one in chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just saw it. Kind of surprising how um, useful the mouthful mode is compared to some other Kirby mechanics. Like, Planet Robobot had the mechs. Wasn't there, like, large Kirby mode in one of the games? I feel like sometimes the games have, like, obligatory stage segments where you must do the, the gimmick. There wasn't big Kirby. I guess that was Mario. Triple Deluxe. Oh. Someone said, I think he missed a secret. I think that's probably correct. But I feel like the, the way that these objects have been integrated into the gameplay feel a little bit more natural to the level design. And also, I don't know, it just kind of works really well for me. They did a good job with the gimmick. This whole game works for me. Like, there's really not much I, di I dislike about it. I found the golden fish. The difficulty is the only real thing that one could justifiably complain about. Oops. Oh. And even then, I would say that if you buy, if you buy peanut butter and you expect jelly, then that's on you. Mm. So far, what I've noticed about this game is that the challenge comes from finding all the secrets. Like, there's combat, you know, there's all that stuff. It's got all the curb hallmarks, but one of the things I really like is, like, a, it's a big scavenger hunt in some weird post-apocalyptic nightmare. <laughs> I like that.
eat three tins of fish. Like, why? Why Why is that an objective? I don't know. I'm fine with it. Vinny, you missed a fish, lol. Did I already miss one? Lol. LOL is a great, like, acronym. It would be an acronym. LOL is a punctuation. Lots of love. That's right. What was that one person who was like, your, your, um, your uncle died, LOL. Lots of love. They thought it was lots of love, and it was like, it's not what it meant. It was just some, like, family member, some some person on the internet. It's like, oof. But you can, like, you know, you can use it to soften pretty much any blow. Stuff like this in video games gives me cave story flashbacks and how frustrated I was the first three times I played that game because I didn't save Curly because of the fucking water area. I just wanted to check for Toonie, toonie Fish. Toonie fish right here. Chat, what's the only fish with two knees? Ham. Correct. The answer is ham. That, that's the fish. People are actually debating on which fish has two knees. The answer is a toonie fish. I, I had said the answer before the question. I didn't make it up. That was the thing I told you about, chat. Where it was like some... It was public access TV. But it was interactive, and only one person at a time could do it. And it was like either information or you could play the game. And the game was like a point and click, but you would choose where to go um, with your phone. So you would call in, and when you press buttons and stuff, the adventure would unfold. And it was like some haunted house. And one of the riddles was, what's the only fish with two knees? And if you typed like Kel Jester, if you type like one, you would answer the Toonie fish. But people would just like call in and it would be six, nine, six, nine, six, nine. Or people would like, because it was like pre internet and beginning of internet. So people would call up and go to the section of information that wasn't the game, and it was just like sex. I missed one objective. Music is good. That wasn't from when I worked at the TV station. That was way before that. That's 1995. 
94. Win the battle without falling into the water. Swish. Sling that sharp-edged boomerang. Use it to grab far-off items. Hold the button down to freeze it in mid-air and charge it up. That'll make it extra powerful. Swish. Storage Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through the vortex. Now he can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth. Wiggle and thrash. You know, just a little wiggle and thrash until you tip over. Hey. Who put this behind the lockers? These challenges get close to impossible in wild mode, says a, a chat member. So yeah, that that's, seems to be where the challenge lies in this game, is really just trying to get all the stuff without taking damage for some of them, going through a level, finding all the little things. Impossible for babies. All right, never mind. I was one guide. They have Babby mode, they have Wild mode, they should have another difficulty. Like a harder difficulty. What should it be called? Vinny mode. Dread mode? Dave difficulty. Beast mode. Two knees mode. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Go goblin mode. Alright, so we have new blueprints. Child mode, mild mode, and wild mode. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like the new outfit. Oh, that's cool. You can like trip enemies. It's kind of a simple upgrade without overcomplicating the ability. Hi. It just makes the explosions bigger. You can chain up to five together. I'm, I'm wrong a whole lot while playing this game tonight. <laughs> clutter needle. Pointy, spiky clutter all rolled up into a ball. It's needles upon needles. What a powerful weapon. Roll forward and release to send sharp clutter flying out around you. Just looks cooler. It's more powerful. Yeah, if you just keep pressing the button, you just, like, spam clutter. It's also, like, a nice little Kirby 64 throwback. Danger, danger. This ability makes the biggest boom of all. You can hold the button down and make it e uh, even biggest -er. Nothing will escape the blast. Whoosh. 
I really sold that. Delivering that line like that. Whoosh. I get it now. Wow, those Waddle Dees are now fucking dead. <laughs> that sucks for them. Hey, Kirby, got a sec? Now that Waddle Dee Cafe is open, we're looking to hire someone. It's just a part time gig. They call him Charlie Hustle. That's right. That's what we called him. Check each customer's food order, then select the item they want. Is this overcooked? Overcurbed. Hi. Not really. You can see what they're thinking about eating. I can't believe Kirby's a psychic. Why does Kirby say hi when they're leaving? Oh, Jesus. What happened in 1950? Something. I don't know. The War of 1812. Thank you, chat member. Wait, is chat actually complimenting me on my ability to serve delicious food? It was like a death in Elden Ring.
Wait, it said 100% satisfaction even though I messed one up. Frenzy gig. There's a Kerr burger. Burger! Stop, that's not it! Retry. Why would you want tomato when the burger has tomato on it? You get yourself a nice burg and tomato. Just trying to sell the product, don't mind me. Herbie, we need to cook. Yeah, that one, that one definitely goes a bit faster. Oh, you get uh, more points for no wrong orders. Here's your hard work, Kirby. Hope you can help us out again soon. Kirby, may I speak f with you for a sec? You've been helping us a lot lately. It's a tough gig, but uh, you even handled the frenzy like a pro, so uh, we'd like for you to have this special figure. I thought they were going to be mad at me. Our deepest thanks. Ready? Here it comes. Thanks. Kirby's taken on a side gig at the counter of the Waffle... <laughs> of the Waddle D Cafe. Of the Waffle House. He's dressed like a focused employee, but he's secretly fighting the urge to gobble up each dish himself. This might be his greatest struggle yet. Stay strong, Kirby. Do you remember when Gus had that poor employee like clean the grill three times because he needed, um, well, anyway. Gonna have Kirby. Waddle D owner is gonna have Kirby clean clean the grill, serve food well into the night. Wait, so how do you display stuff? From your collection.
Okay. Press look on one. <laughs> oh, that's that's perfect. We're closer to Kirby than we've ever been before. This is like when Pokemon games give you the ability to pet Pikachu. Vinny, there's your big Kirby mode. It's big B. Which was, I think, also Samsung's shitty voice recognition software that you have to delete from your phone. It's Bixby. Well, how many Samsung phones did I just activate by saying that? Bixby, cock! Quick! I need it now! Bixby! All right, now that is not going to be taken out of context. But I wonder how many chat members I just said that and their phone activated and took them to a photograph of a chicken on Wikipedia. Makes me wonder. Doesn't matter if it's out of context. Your Bixby is still going to activate. Okay, did anyone actually not delete Bixby from their phone? people. What is Bixby? It's like if Alexa had a younger brother that like failed at high school sports and like got really poor grades and didn't want to look up rat porn for you, but like spelled everything that you looked up incorrectly. Captured Waddle Dee. One of the Waddle Dees being held captive by the fearsome beast pack. There are so many out there waiting to be saved. You can almost hear them calling for help. Wah wah. Wah wah. Wah wah. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out! Wait, you hear that too? One of them must be nearby. Wah wah's got some fucking dope coffee. out of this box. Get me out of here, Mario, please! Oh. 
<laughs> Fuck Mario, thanks, you saved me. Hello. Finally, the bit worked. Uh, well, it, I never have to do it again now because there's a good ending. Rob Bryden bit, or yeah, Rob Bryden, I think, invented the man in the box. Small man in the box bit. Don't worry, it's not good when he does it either. Okay, no, it's probably way better than mine, but... At least it wasn't the diaper chief. Oh, thanks for reminding me about that bit. That's one of my favorites. Colonel, I found the diaper chief. Oh, that's right. Who's a big baby snake? Yeah, me. I'm the diaper chief, not him. That's right, snake. You'll always be my diaper chief. Oh, no. I'm scared. What are you scared for, Snake? I watched the pee pee poo poo man over the weekend. And I had no one to talk about it with. Oh man, these, these challenges are getting kind of... A little bit spicy. Vinny, so how's being almost 40 working out for you? Pretty good. One thing that's cool about getting older is you care less about what people think about you. Yeah, that's right. I'm a little diaper chief. And, uh... What else? I don't know. You just develop like some more innate maturity. You know, there's just certain things that no longer appeal to your sense of humor. I'll give you an example. I don't like the Luigi in a small box bit anymore. I find myself... <laughs> I, find, I find it shallow and pedantic. And I find myself just a little too mature for that bit. I decided this just 10 minutes ago. Diaper Chief is here to stay, though. I mean, even Mr. Dink made a comeback. Mr. Dink showed up in the Core Keeper Part 2. It got fucking weird. I don't even remember what it sent, what it was. By the way, you can clip stuff. If you watch my YouTube stuff, it would actually be incredibly helpful if you left a comment of, like, the timestamp of the thing that we could clip, potentially. Or you can actually clip it yourself if you want. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything. You can clip straight off of YouTube. Well, if you do that, can you post it as a comment? Because that would be very helpful.
Yeah. Could have done this more efficiently. Efficacy level ten percent. You know what, at this point, it's less about me doing this in any proper amount of time and more about just it needs to happen. I have a minute and a half to do this. That's really all I'm concerned about now. Jesus. What are we doing, Kirby? What are we doing? What are we doing, pal? My brother in Christ. What are we doing? I did it. Complete this in 30 seconds to get yourself 50 extra coins. 145. Wow. Okay. You can discard instantly with the minus button. Oh. Hey, Link, it's me, Fletch. No, I'm not doing that bit. That's a that's a bad bit if I've ever made one. It's a bad bit. <laughs> My life is a bad bit sometimes. Listen, we, we go through our bad seasons. You know, not every show has a perfect season. Do you, uh, yeah, well, Breaking Bad and Saul would have a word. Anyway, um, Tropic Woods. I'm assuming I'm going to fail all of the challenges present.
In my thoughts I have seen rings of smoke through the trees. And the forests will echo with laughter. Does anybody remember laughter? That's going to be a very specific reference. Very specific. I know I've told you about Matt Talica at karaoke, who used to do Led Zeppelin. But his um, singing voice was like two octaves lower than Robert Plant, so he would do... In my... And as we wind on down the road... It's like bold choice to do Led Zeppelin when you have the voice of Tom Waits. sound crackles. I mean, I, I say it's a bold choice to do Led Zeppelin when you have a voice range that's two octaves lower. But I gotta give the dude credit. He had balls of fucking steel. And he sounded pretty good. This was harder than Radon. Yeah, it was. So we got destroy the roots, clear without using a copy ability. Uh, can I get some hints on, is there one for not taking damage? There's always one for no damage. Certain time and one for no damage. Got it. That's cool. Ranger ability can now be evolved. Evolved. Wise Waddle D has arrived in town. He'll give you tips on finding missing blueprints. Wise Waddle D. Is my phone out of batteries? What was that noise? How do you do? They call me the Wise Waddle D. After I landed here, I found this mysterious book that lists all the locations of the undiscovered blueprints. Also collects high scores and tons of other info from all over the world. If you'd like to know more, I'd be happy to share. You haven't missed any blueprints thus far. If I read about a new blueprints location, I'll help you find it. When I say car mouth cake, do you get a bit hungry? That item has been eaten 547,000 times? By everyone total. <laughs> the number of star coins you've collected is um, over 5,000. And the collective amount, <laughs> combined total of everyone all over the world, is 10 billion with a B. Today's top trend is volcano fire. It's the most popular ability in the world right now. This week's world record for solo gig frenzy is. 8,370. They served 49 Waddle Dees. Holy shit! 
the number of times you've inhaled objects is 123. Globally, though, oh, you know, it's only uh, 285 million. Would you like to hear more? The world record for defeating Tropic Woods is six seconds. <laughs> Wait, what? No, 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 no. That's not six seconds, is it? No. Not hacks. It's real and not hacks. Upgraded crash ability. Most popular item is 1 million maximum, to, uh, over 1 million maximum tomato pop flowers. It's just, it's just it's all these stats. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, don't worry. We'll get more stats eventually. I guess I could have slept to recover health, right? But then we wouldn't have gotten this nice cutscene. Of the screen fading to white, and then Kirby already ate. Noble Ranger blueprint. I want to make that. Gimme, give gimme. Give All right, let me get my tools ready, then we'll get this evolution started. Someone said you can't make an eating animation. It would just be out of character for Kirby to eat something, truthfully. Holy shit. That outfit. Noble Ranger. That hat. It's just... Is it just two guns? The most experienced of marksmen require the fanciest of hats. Fire a barrage of shots with dual-wielded pop guns. You can release a flurry of charged shots, too. Amusement park. Oh, if you hold R, you can go real, real fast. This game has everything I like from the Bright Sun Films channel and the Abandoned Locations channels on YouTube. There's like abandoned malls, department stores, abandoned cities, abandoned amusement parks. There's an episode on the Hard Rock Park that I really liked.
Just wanted to wipe the smile off of that smug dog's face, but that's not, that's not gonna happen, is it? Enjoy the view from the top of the rocket. I have your uh, ducklings. Wait, no, I don't. Where, where'd they go? Uh, I had your ducklings. Now they're all, like, lost again. game. There's no reason for me to eat that burger, but there's no reason for me not to eat the burger. Vinny, wait. What do you mean? It's too late. What did I miss? You missed nothing. All right. There's just a chat member who was freaking out. You know what I kind of think of now? In locations such as this? Silent Hill 3. It's abandoned in a different way. This game. If you really want to go to Silent Hill 3, if you want to see what it's like at the Silent Hill 3 amusement park, just go to Coney Island anytime you'd like. All right. Here, if you if you really want to experience some fun, go during a hot summer night like 100 degrees. Get yourself a glizzy and walk around between midnight and 2 a.m. Don't actually do this, by the way. But if you do, good luck. Uh, just, just good luck. And I hope, hope everything works out. It's gonna get kind of weird. That sounds like a good clickbait bit, uh, video, said someone in chat. Coney Island at 1 a.m. Good luck. Mom, Vinny said, Vinny said to go to Coney Island at, at 1 a.m. I, I want to go, but I don't even live in New York. Tucker, you're not going to Coney Island. No, he said it's a clickbait video. I want to go. He said I should go to the Atlantic City Boardwalk and walk around the city at night, like outside of the boardwalk at like 1 a.m. He said it's a good idea. He said I should put my wallet in my back pocket. Boy, the Tucker voice sure has changed over the years. Until I saw the edit that Pierre did, I had no idea that Tucker sounded like, um, mom, um, Vinny said we should, like, I didn't realize I was doing it that, in that, 
timbre, that register. I thought, I thought I was doing it like, oh, ball. <laughs> That was so satisfying. Red burger? No, it's not a burger. What is that? That's is that mochi? Macaroon. Oh right. I can't believe I can be a roller coaster in this game. Fucking love roller coasters. Probably have to get all the coins for a challenge. Ready. Beans up. Vinny, a vo roller coaster. I just need you to stop, please. You, you meant like you were doing a thing, like a voracious appetite, right? That Kirby has, like Kirby has a voracious appetite. I'll try that one more time. Why is the lead character from Tunic in this game? And why are there so many of them? It's nice, Tucker. I need you to do the. I need you to do the garbage. Throw the garbage out. Oh, my video wanted me to become an elder. That's Tucker. You can't be an eldritch horror. You have homework. Oh, my mom, it's too late. I become an eldritch horror. All right, that's it. We're gonna IP block this guy. Should have been done years ago. Oh. going to kill the ride operator. One more time. One more time. Tucker, you cannot devour worlds. Okay? You still have to throw out the garbage, do the dishes, and do your homework. You fucking idiot, Tucker. The Tucker is just so easily influenced. Sure, I missed some coins, but I, I, I'm happy now.
I want to see Tucker evolve into some kind of like eldritch, like god that eats universes and stuff. So Kirby, yeah, sure. At least Kirby's cute, though. You do realize that Kirby will never be allowed to rest as long as there is money to be made. Kirby will be on an endless pursuit of his friends, his stars, whatever objectives he needs to complete for all eternity. Cursed, some would say. Just like his father, Sakurai. I wonder what Sakurai's up to. A break? I mean, maybe the dude takes a break by playing video games. I mean, that's one of the reasons why, like, sure, I have a healthier schedule, I take more days off, and I do less, but at the end of the day, I'm playing video games, and I kind of love doing that, so it's weird when your job is also the thing you enjoy doing most. <laughs> clean is better than dirty, and dirty is meaner than clean. But there's also some aspect of, like, right now, the, the getting is good when it comes to video games. We're eating good, like Kirby is. So I've been streaming a little bit more. I've been, like, recording more. So many fucking good games out at the moment. And more soon. Hopefully LEGO Star Wars does not disappoint. Did I read correctly that there's another four of those? I guess we have more of this to do. Yeah, no, that's not weird, chat. I gotta say, the graphics on Borby right now, phenomenal. Like, being able to actually see the water inside of Cor uh, Corby. It, I mean, this is, this is good graphics. This is good graphics. Shouldn't there be... Oh. A little bit of Super Mario Sunshine, not too much. I, I think this is a fantastic song, too, by the way. Big fan.
Yeah, this has just gone full Mario Sunshine. What people are saying this sounds like perfect strangers? What's that? Is it the post Malone song? It's an Undertale reference, of course. I thought the bass line sounded like that Post Malone song a little bit. I thought that's what people were referencing. It's not an Undertale reference. It is an Undertale reference. It's not. It is. It isn't. It is, but it, it's not. It's not. An, it's an isn't. It's an 80s TV show. Oh, from the cards. I opened a Perfect Stranger Cards pack. Hi. Hi, how you doing, everybody? It's me, Kirby. Yeah, this is my real voice, and, uh, you know, I'm uh, a big movie. <laughs> yeah, Mario movie, no, this, this is my real voice. I mean, I've been talking all cute for a couple of years now. Yeah. Perfect Strangers theme. Bronson Pinchot? A little bit. Yeah, on a surface level. Tortorner. Tortorner has a whole shell made of concrete, as if it walked off of so with somebody's sidewalk. It has a thick skull and a mean bite, but its body is pretty delicate. A mouthful mode ability might help you crack through its shell and land a brutal blow from above. I think that was totally enough for the Turtle Club. Someone wanted to know if I've ever done voice acting. Just small projects. And would I? If someone... <clears throat> if someone had a project for me to do voice acting and they thought I was right for it for some ungodly reason. And, um... It was... Yeah, if it was a good gig, I'd do it. What is a good gig? I don't know, something I'm interested in. Perhaps. Hello, Peter. Yeah, like Family Guy, exactly. Hi. Well, remember, the Family Guy Twitter liked Ross's um, video and even commented on it. So there's a very good chance that someone from Family Guy, like one of the higher-ups, saw me say, hello, Peter. So maybe, hey, they heard my voice. They see my quality of, of the, the voice acting talent of, hello, Peter. And maybe they say to them, you know, we need this guy. I mean, this seems less good because it is a toy. Sure, this may be the cutest bonk to ever bonk a bonk, but this is no plaything. 
His rapid, continuous attacks with enough power to hammer stakes and crush enemies. <laughs> Alright, fine. You, you convinced me. Be with new car. What a brilliant marketing decision Carby was, whether or not they intended it to be. This is this is ridiculous. Gold. <laughs> Those fucking rewards. One of the challenges is sub 20. Should I retry? I think I should retry if it's a sub 20 challenge, sure. Oh, man. Do it in 15 seconds for an egg. For a second, I was like, wait a minute, egg? Because I've been playing that wind wingspan game. And one of the features of the game is your birds have to lay eggs. I was like, oh, you get a free egg for that. No shit. That's... jump on the tires. I feel like, yeah, hitting enemies is also slowing me down. <laughs> well, there you go. Challenge complete. <laughs> Seventeen, eight, one, seven. I'm going to find out someone did that in 13 seconds.
16 is the world record at the moment. Maybe. Which habitat do you get to lay your eggs in? If you get sub 15. It's a joke for a game that maybe 1.5% of my audience has played. Never mind. In Wingspan, there's three habitats. I played it for like three hours today. <laughs> I recorded two hours of it, but... Um, yeah, and you get to draw cards in the water one. In the grasslands, you get to lay eggs, and then you get food in the uh, forests. It's a nice game, and you can learn about birds, too. This is fine. It's a catchy little song. I'm a sucker for an ostinato melody, which means the melody repeats under a different bass line or different series of chords. It's not like completely ostinato because it changes a little at the end, which I like even better. Got a nice catchy bass line too. Even though it sounds like Perfect Strangers in Post Malone. <laughs> it really doesn't sound like that Post Malone song. It's just the way that... I only know one Post Malone song, and it's the one with the bass line that does the do 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 It's the same kind of pattern. Pre-Malone didn't have any tattoos, though. Oh, that was a challenge. Ah, now I have new sword. Is the Moonlight Greatsword in this game, too? I think I'm about to just unlock it.
All right. That wasn't even optimal. But um, question, is there a challenge boost through the... Okay. So it's not like some crazy time. Okay. You missed a hole you uncovered in the previous area. Fuck, you're right. That Waddle D will never be saved now. Waddle D emote? I mean, I'm up for it. You can still submit emotes to the emote submission area on the Buru if you want. If only you listened. Well, here's the difference. If only I read the messages in chat. Because listening implies that I'm actually hearing something. That would help. Sometimes I get lucky and I read a helpful chat message and sometimes I'm, I read a chat message that's like, Vinny, pee pee doo doo. So it's just kind of the luck of the draw. Sometimes you draw a good bird card and sometimes you draw the owl that doesn't have any special abilities. Sometimes I look in chat, I see someone typing like dumpster doo-doo, and I'm like, that's awesome, chat member. Let me ignore the other chat members for the next minute after that so that I can talk about dumpster doo-doo and not get any helpful chat messages about what to do next. Someone said the chat roulette. Chat roulette still exist? <laughs> Vinny, but you started Diaper Chief. Yes, but here's the question. Did I start Diaper Chief because of the influence from the chat? Or have I always been like this and chat is attracted to it so they join because I do bits like Diaper Chief. What came first, the chicken or the egg? And in which habitat is that egg laid? So I get a giant sword but I lose speed. All right. Hi. Can we bring back Bob's Burgers? Bob's Burgers never went anywhere. God, it really is the Moonlight Sword. <laughs> The gold sword is definitely gigantic. It's a bit hard to swing around, but it'll keep you well guarded. Use it to shield yourself from an attack and then go on the offensive. Great sword users and monster hunter be like this. Here's what here's Monster Hunter. This is Monster Hunter gameplay.
I should have missed. Oh man, that would have been so much better if I went over there. I went like this, and at the last second. Oh man, such a good bit. Could have been even better bit. I'll do a couple of these challenges and I want to do another level. Vinny, you forgot to carve. When does Sunbreak come out again? End of June. I'm still on the fence about it because I didn't get the PC version of Monster Hunter. And in any case, I'm like a little too stuck in Elden Land. To even think about playing a new Monster Hunter game. Would I play more on the Switch or restart on the PC? I don't know. The Switch version is pretty good. It's actually very good. We were talking about lazy ports today and like underpowered Switch games that, you know, like release. Um, in a sorry state. It's like, why is this 2D game lagging? And then you look at something like Monster Hunter Rise, or even this. Sure, this is locked to 30, but this is a really nice looking game for the Switch. Just sometimes, my theory was this. I probably mentioned this before on stream or in a video. These days you can just brute force your game with PC power and PS4 power and PS5 power and you don't have to do all the optimizations that you normally would have had to do on some of the older consoles. So by the time the Switch port happens, it's like, what what went wrong? It's like, well, you designed this so that the power of those consoles or the PC could just kind of overwrite maybe some sloppy programming. programming? I'm not a programmer, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a kind of a dummy. But that's what I think is happening. And when it comes to optimization, sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes like Bloodstained took like another year and a half to get right, if I'm not mistaken. They released it, ran like crap, and then they had to like redo various parts of the game just to make it run well on Switch. And it's not the most graphically intensive game. So you have something like that, and then you have something like um, Panic Button, who can like do miracle ports of The Witcher 3 and Doom. Which, let's face it, you want to play those games on the PC, or a more powerful console. But when I think of um, exclusive games, usually Nintendo does a really good job with their own games. like. You know, Breath of the Wild is a Wii U game that still looks pretty damn good on the Switch to this day. But Monster Hunter Rise... Rise is the name of it, right? It took me a minute. I even said it weird, because I'm like, is that the name of it? Yeah, it is. Rise. Rise looks pretty good. I mean, the engine that they used... Sure, it's a little bit more barren. It doesn't run at 60 on the Switch. But it's very playable. And it looks very nice. It's not like a 3DS game, is what I'm trying to say. I like I like Monster Hunter on the Switch. So, that whole big spiel was, if I get Sunbreak, it'll probably be the Switch version. Lugi Mansion 3 is still the best looking game on the Switch, in my opinion, says a chat member. I wouldn't dispute that.
Kerberian. Yo, is this like neon laser tag kind of shit? The theming of this game is on point. I like these enemies too. Speaking of Luigi's Mansion, there are ghosts here. <clears throat> Smash mostly looks great visually. If it maintains that 60 FPS, there's a lot of levels in Smash that are very visually impressive. I wouldn't say it's the best looking game on the Switch, but there are moments where I'm like, yeah, that looks that, that's a very nice looking video game. Hyrule Warriors is one of the worst optimized Switch games. It's a shame because I kind of agree with that, but again, I'm not a programmer. I don't make games, so I don't know what they could have done better or how they could have fixed it. But it's so easy to be like, nah, just fix it, bro. But I think that is a case of the Switch just needs a revision. That honestly takes me out of the game. I liked Age of Calamity in so many ways, but I'm not getting the DLC. One, because I feel like the characters in Hyrule Warriors, the original, were, were just more fun. Like Tingle and um, Malin, or not Malin, Marin. And all the um, like Skull Kid kind of stuff. I enjoyed that more than I enjoyed the Breath of the Wild characters. Yeah, sadly, some of the, the visual stuff was just tough to look at. Very inconsistent frame rates. <laughs> look at that! This looks awesome. It's a nice visual effect on Kirby. Like when you put a flashlight behind your hand. <laughs> Or like the webbing of your fingers, which definitely don't get a paper cut there, because that, that's awful. Why do you do this, Finny? <laughs> uh oh, X Split is doing the stupid thing again. It's basically just pop-up windows every 10 to 15 seconds. I mean, I'm not even... I'm sitting on my couch right now playing this, so... I don't know. I'm just gonna let it be stupid, I guess.
Are we literally backseat gaming then? Uh, sure, I guess. Ah! This game is too scary for me. Is this a bonus door or is this the way to go? I always forget. Should I go that way first? This is a bonus door. One is a bonus. All right, that's what I figured. Red star is bonus, or like orange, okay. Is it too early for me to say I think this is maybe one of the best Kirby games ever made? Is it too early? One of. Maybe like not the best, but it's too early for me to say that it is the best. Because I don't I don't know if that's true. I, don't, I wouldn't say so. But I think it's like the more I play this game, the more it like climbs my list. My metaphorical mind list of what I think the best Kirby games are. I say the Switch is going to be one of those consoles that has like a lot of fond memories for a lot of people because there were so many good entries to various franchises. I thought the Yoshi game was underappreciated too. Yeah, well, Star Fox. We don't talk about Star Fox or F Zero anymore. Just the sports titles were a little lacking. I thought Mario Golf was was good, but it, you know, suffered in a couple spots. Tennis was also the same. Like it was good, but it, there were better entries. There were also worse entries. So yeah, the sports games, uh, we're going to see how the new Strikers is. But in terms of like mainline games between Odyssey and Breath of the Wild, Smash, Mario Kart, well, that's a Wii U game. Metroid. A lot of, a lot of quality here. Splatoon 2, which is kind of criticized as like a retread of Splatoon 1. Arceus, I would say, is, like I said, my favorite Pokemon game maybe that I've played since the first one in many ways. Even though I didn't finish post-game, and I know people want me to do that. Maybe one day. I just haven't had the desire. But it's, it's good. Just would have benefited from more time in the oven and like a better budget <laughs> maybe not budget but yeah there we go cool secret so yeah I, I think Ar Arcus will go down as like 
having been a nice breath of fresh air for the series. Maybe not enough for some people, but still, that's a cool mechanic too. The falling walls. But still quite good. Next one is supposed to be open world, which is one step further. I mean, we'll see. Because Sword and Shield, they had some big claims. And now that I'm spoiled by Arcus's gameplay, I'm not 100% sure. Listen, I just default to not really having a lot of faith in Game Freak. I don't mean to, but this is what I've been conditioned to feel. And I know many of us feel the same way. I'm not even that much of a Pokemon fan. It's usually, yeah, it's pretty good. That's like how I feel about their stuff. Like, yeah, it's pretty good, but man, could have been, could have been this. So we'll see. I mean, maybe if it's open world and it has the Arceus gameplay or and some other quality of life stuff, and maybe some other forward-thinking ideas, I might like it. I still kind of think it's a little soon. Like, Arceus just came out, and Shining Pearl and all that just came out. So that's just me. Just please stop saying Ar Arceus like that, says a chat member. Okay, I'll stop saying it like that. Ah, I, I touched a ghost Gordo. common beasts that can be found all over the new world. They're pretty cute, but they have a dangerous wild side. They'll growl and jump at anyone who crosses them. A whole bunch of these critters attack the Waddle Dees. Funny. You'd think they'd get along. Say what you will about Animal Crossing, whether or not it's the best in the series or like some people are like, oh, I played New Leaf for a thousand hours, but I only played New Horizons for a hundred. Well, maybe it's because you played New Leaf for a thousand hours. <laughs> There's such a thing as series burnout. I mean, New Leaf definitely still trumps the, uh, the new one, New Horizons, in some areas, but in some ways, I think New Horizons is also kind of a lot better. I think it's down to personal preference and not, you know, and having played the game previously too much. But same for Monster Hunter. Like, I played too much Monster Hunter. That said, I think Rise is, like, right up there with World as the best Monster Hunter ever created. And also, uh, Paper Mario was pretty good. It wasn't a true return to form, but... It ended up being way better than I expected. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh oh, Vinny, you brought it up. What, Paper Mario? I guess that's a, a touchy subject for some people. Well, then again, I suppose Pokemon is even touchier. Vinny, I was with you on everything except that. All right. You don't have to be with me on everything. You can be your own person. If streamer doesn't share your opinion... <laughs> if I don't share your opinion on something, if we have slight differences in personality, in opinions, in even ideology in some cases, it, I think that's okay because we still share a planet. You can, you can choose to watch or not or whatever. But I like Paper Mario Origami King. I didn't love it, but I thought it was probably just behind the Wii one. Wow, that costs a lot. We're going to do it. 
So I like Thousand Year Door the best, then 64 from what I remember. And then Super Paper Mario. And then like right behind that was Origami King. And I haven't played the others. And yeah, I wish they would return to what made Paper Mario great in the first place and go back to the original format. Absolutely. Oh my god, this is busted. Holy shit. Wow, it's the power of time and explosion. What other ones? I was going to mention, um, now that I'm looking at my game cases, I mean, you had some new stuff too. Mario and Rabbids ended up being a huge surprise and I think a really great game. Looking forward to the sequel on that. The only thing I like that Ubisoft is doing at the moment... Oh wait, no. Not Goromondo. Um, Mario Maker 2 was awesome. The new Mario Party is great. I mean, the old Mario Party is okay. The other one on the Switch. But the actual, the new one, Super Mario Party. Wait, what's it called? Superstars. Mario Party Superstars. God damn it. I wish they named these things. So less confusing. But it, that to me was like so close to a return to form. Having full online and like really good mini games was awesome. I just wish it had a couple more boards. Looks like I'm not beating the record of six seconds, but... Is there another upgrade for that ability? There is. No? Alright, well I'm very interested to know how someone did that in six seconds. Uh, one more thing, WarioWare, I thought was really good, even if it was a little shorter than the other games. Just because I didn't really want to unlock all the stuff. It wasn't like cool little games and stuff that you could play, but the core gameplay, I loved. So yeah, the Switch, I think, is just a, a really nice, got a really good library. Even Link's Awakening was pretty cool. Skyward Sword HD was also a great port. Sure. New Pokemon Snap was amazing. All right. I'm done. It's late. This is uh, my 1.30 a.m. old man bedtime now. And uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good night. And I um, hope you enjoyed Kirby. I'm not doing the Wordle tonight. My brain is too broken for Wordle. I'm not even pronouncing words correctly. But I will uh, see you soon with more Tunic and Curb. And then um, hopefully we'll get a chance to play some more of that stupid game I played. What was it called? Smeg Smegma? The... Uh, Dink Smallwood. Yes. Well, thank you. And I want to really quickly thank my mods for just everything they do 
and for being good friends. I appreciate it, mods. And um, also other streamer friends that have given me, lent me their support and help over the years. So I hope you can check them out too. And that's it. So yeah, good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Maybe in a couple days. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Goodbye.